Now they can get to it. He goes and tears off again. He beats a second. Lays on the pass through the middle. This should be it. once again played against Benin and managed to beat them by two goals to zero. After the game, the head coach said that today's performance or his performance against Benin is one that he's happy with how the guys play. Uh, in this competition, we have a lot of good teams. Don't get me wrong. Uh, you can see a lot. Of, I've, I've managed to see all the teams and everyone have his qualities, his strength. You can see today's game, it was very difficult for us. Uh, we thinking that we and most people thinking that we're going to meet Benin, and it should be a walk in the park. For me, some of us that were in the game, it wasn't easy at all. You're playing against a team that are very physical, um, that they wanted to play long balls in behind your team. If you are not careful and you don't find the line well or you don't drop well, you will be punished. We were very. Lucky that we saw their game against Ivory Coast and we, we all saw the way they held Ivory Coast to last minute, Ivory Coast got the one goal. So that gave us advantage to see what they are bringing on board. The only thing they have is to, the goalkeeper play the ball to one of the centre backs and if there's no pressure on the ball, they launch a long ball in behind the back line. For us, we want our nine to put pressure on them as soon as possible. And you can see in the first half, we couldn't do that a lot. That's how come they had the opportunity to keep long balls. But in the second half, for me, I think it got it got much better. Second half too, they came up with a different game plan, which I give thumbs up to uh, their coach. They put up three strong guys up front, so you have to push us to change our system into three four three. But off the ball, we drop our full wing backs, making five at the back, so that we can keep them silent and I think it worked perfectly for us. So Ghana has now qualified to the next stage or perhaps the semi-finals of the Wafu Zumbi Championship. This is perhaps the first time that a Ghana national team has qualified out of a group stage without any mathematics and it's because Laie side has played some exciting football, has scored a total of seven goals, considered zero in their group game. Ghana in the semi-finals will be playing either Nigeria or Burkina Faso as ten stands now, but it will be dependent on how the game also go as tomorrow's game will be against Nigeria, will be playing against Nigeria and then Burkina Faso will also be playing to see who qualifies to the next stage. But with Ghana's performance, I think this is one of the it's been a long time we saw our national team play this kind of football. And Lai at the post match talked about the importance of the Ghana DNA and the training he has also given to his players. And, and, and we, as national coaches, we, we've come together, we've spoken about it, we've talked about it. Uh, we have to do coaching clinic for everyone so that we all be aligned with whatever we are. That every national coach now have the DNA book, either in the soft copy or hard copy. Uh, me, for instance, I have my beliefs before I came in. I'm more of a transition coach. I attack your box well, I defend my box well. But with the DNA of the FA, I'm putting this abroad and, 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 and all that. Uh, and we have soft, soft principles and soft, soft principles governing it. So, so for me, I think after uh, this tournament is done, we, need, we, we, we are going to have a coaching play with, 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 with a workshop, right? A workshop for all the coaches, which we've spoken about it. But, but some of the coaches are busy with their clubs. And, 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 and at the moment, I'm also busy with this tournament competition, so it will be difficult for me to attend it. But we've spoken about it. The directorate is aware, the FA is aware. And, and for me, I think Ghana is going to see a, a, a solid transition from the 15 to the top, playing the same style. The football Ghana is playing, and it's a similar one that we've seen with the under 20 team. They play some good football together. And for Laya, he believes it's as a result of the Ghana under-17 team or the Ghana's DNA, I should say. And that is what has helped him to, to model his system of play or his style of play to that level. In summary, Ghana has been very vintage in their two group games. But as I always say, this is a competition that serves as qualifiers as well. 
So winning two games, yes, is good. But the most important part is going to at least the finals, which gives you automatic qualification to the AFCON for the under-17. Lai was asked about the under-17 qualifiers, and he said since 2017, Ghana hasn't ever qualified to that competition. And he'll be very excited to see his team or to be the coach to, to qualify Ghana to such competition for the first time. For him as a young coach who is building his career, it will mean a lot to him. Since 2017, since 2017, Ghanaians have not seen a youth team that uh, previously we enjoyed most uh, from 91, 93, 95, 97, 99, 2001, that we lost this team. So um, if we are, we are able to qualify this team, I think it's amazing. For me, for me I will be much, much happy than anything else in the world. Because uh, I know Ghanaians are craving for this. I know Ghanaians have worked so hard. They can they put a lot of things in place for us to get there. But uh, it's been very difficult because other countries are also developing. Uh, but I think we are we are in the, in, in the right direction. We take it a day at a time. And now we are in the service. Anything that they put in front of us, we, myself and my technical team, will sit down and have a great time uh, again. Then. I believe it's on Saturday. We will be ready to put the opponent that comes to us. But in summary, these two games, Ghana has been very exciting. And I believe that in the semi-finals, if we happen to meet either Nigeria or Burkina Faso, the stadium will be very full. Because today we had two-thirds of the stadium being full. And I believe that the semi-finals will have a full stadium. And it's as a result of the football that Ghana has been playing. So Ghana has been very exciting, have followed this competition, and it has been very exciting. My name is Elalu Frank, come to meet again. Bye-bye for now. See the way they are moving the ball around with so much confidence. Yeah. He is once again very swift on the ball and thinks on his feet as well. I see a cross section of uh, his uh, colleagues from Atram de Visa Academy cheering him on, of course, making them proud as well as Ghana come forward again. The last pass finds uh, Captain Chivanyo, who does very well, holds on to it. Bafa. Finds uh, his uh, colleague. Through the middle now. And you notice, Josiah, that just after the goal, they're keeping it tight, they're keeping it careful as Ghana come forward again. Another opportunity for a shot on target. The avalanche of goals has begun. We're talking about the pace with which they are playing with the starlets and already it looks like the floodgates have opened. Careful build up, slow but precise and Amyamga outside that 18 yard box we just chucked that one past Kachakolo and they are in their groove now. We questioned the intensity, we questioned the hunger and desire 